Welcome to the fifth tutorial on making a virtual cluster using VirtualBox and Scientific Linux. In this tutorial I will be compiling MPIG and HPL with uh, University of Texas GoToBlast as a Blast library. So to download MPIG just go to mpig.org downloads and then copy link address from the HTTP download and just w get it. Um, for the sake of time I've already downloaded the mpeg and the hpl tours and the go to blast one is currently downloading. So let's start with mpeg just extract the folder zxf mpeg Okay, I usually use a mpeg folder in my root folder to hold, host the compiled mpeg. So just go there, ls. Now compiling mpeg is pretty straightforward. Just Uh, you need to configure it first, so just run the configure script with dash dash prefix equals and then the path to the folder where it will be compiled to, in this case root mpeg. Let that run. Once the configuration script is finished, type make um, oh wait. And let this compiled finish. Once the normal make has finished, this can take quite a few minutes, do a make install and let that finish. This one is usually much faster than the normal make. Okay, it's done. So now if you go into this mpeg folder, you will see bin a few folders there. If you go into bin, you will find these. Now mpicc is your compiler and to run any MPI program you need to use MPI run or MPI exec. Okay. The next step is to compile go to blast. Now usually uh, this is pretty straightforward you can just type make in the go to blast folder and it will make it but when using any Intel CPU Ivy Bridge or newer it seems to fail to, to actually compile the uh, program. So you have to specify it to make a, to make the bo the program on core 2. Now this is for the old Intel core 2 CPUs but it's seemingly the only way to get it to compile correctly for an Intel CPU on the newer ones. So this can take a while and then when it's done it will try to download a file. It's not for HPL this file is not necessary to, so you can just download cancel the download. So go to blast is done then just go back extract the HPL folder I already did here so go into HPL. Now you s you'll see that I have a make.linux cblast file here that you do not. Um, you have to configure your uh, HPL for every ar architecture that you run it on. So to get the setup files just go into the setup folder and do an ls. So you'll see here a file for Athlon using CBLAS or FBLAS, uh, the Intel com CPUs, uh, whatever you need. So I just use the Intel CBLAS one for my i7 CPU and then go back to that one and you will have to 
make a few changes to the to the setup file. So from the top down, first thing that you have to change is the top there. You have to change this from HPL to HPL dash 2.1. Uh, the rest there is fine. The MPI there you have to change to the MPEG directory we just created while compiling MP MPEG. So just slash root slash MPEG. That's fine, but you have to change the library to .so instead of .a. The LA there you have to change to the go to blast folder. So home slash go to blast and the library is libgo to do dot a. Okay, going down the file, no changes there. The CC we will be using the MPI CC as a compiler, so just point CC to slash root mpeg bin MPI CC and the linker slash root slash mpeg bin MPI F77. And that's it for this file. So now we can just quit and then make arc equals Linux underscore PII underscore CBLAS. Let's hope there's no error the year. Okay, it looks like it's compiled completely. So if you do an ls, you'll see a bin folder. So just go into it and then change directory into that, the Linux one. And there you see an hpl.dat and an xhpl uh, file. So let's test this and just run it on only the master node. So it's root mpeg bin dot slash mpi run minus n4 dot slash slash xhpl. Okay, this seems to be running. Not very good performance, but at least it's running. So I'm going to copy those two files into my home folder. Now, to run a program on MPI, you will need to specify each machine it will be running on. To uh, do this, you have to have a file, a machines file, so I'm just going to create a nodes file and then for every CPU on in a machine you have to specify that machine in a line so two CPUs for node 1 and two CPUs for node 2 just write and quit it then let's try and run this program again but this time we add machine file and add nodes let's see what happens okay MPI failed because libg fortran isn't on installed on the nodes yet so I'm just going to yum that quickly okay libg fortran is installed on each of the nodes again so if I run this hopefully it works now Okay, we still get an error saying no root to host. This is probably because of an um, of the master nodes uh, firewall blocking the connection. So just to test, I am going to disable the IP tables and try to run again. Okay, we still get an error, so I'll quickly look into that. Okay, the problem was the IP tables on the node, so I just SSH'd into each of the nodes and uh, disabled the IP tables there as well. So let's run this file again, MP, um, HPL again, root mpeg bin mpi run min n4 min machine file nodes oh, machine file is typed wrong and then dot x slash xhpl I should just dot slash there as well okay 
So XBL, HBL is successfully running over all three nodes, or well, over all two nodes at the moment. If you want to add the head node to the computation as well, just vim nodes and add master to the file as well and then change n4 to n6 now right now this isn't going to make a di big difference in the scores for the file because the hpl config file the hpl.dat file is only using four cores okay uh, configuring this file is a tutorial on its own all that i'm going to do now is increase the problem size a bit and hopefully uh, this will significantly improve the performance of HPL. So I'm just going to make it 1000 and then run HPL again. So you can see here my, C my CPU is running at 80% at the moment and performance is quite a big difference from E minus 5 to E minus 2. So it's a thousand times better about. Okay, well that's it for this tutorial. And if there are any new ones, I will probably show how to install XAuth and other services like Ganglia and Torque onto your cluster. Thanks for watching.